Well, the guys at Legendary Motor Car have been working hard on Larry's L88 Corvette. Now, a fiberglass car creates some interesting problems, which we've got some solutions for. Now, a fiberglass car is just that, strands of glass that are put together with a bunch of different types of resins. Now, that resin actually starts to shrink, and quite often you'll see these lines or spider webs going through fiberglass, and what that is is the resin is shrinking back, leaving the strands of glass exposed. Now, what we have to do is put something on top of that that isn't going to shrink to cover all those strands so you get a nice smooth finish. Let me show you what we did with Larry's L88. Well, what we would do here is once all the fiberglass work is finished on the car, we'd put the entire car into epoxy primer. That does two things. It holds down the strands of fiberglass, and that's an, a really good characteristic for the epoxy. And secondly, it's a nice base to work off of. We can do our filler work on top of that. And because this car looked like somebody had actually sandblasted the hood prior to us stripping it, all those resins had been blown away and if you remember the hood was really starting to crack all over the place when we took this car apart. So we have to deal with that and what we did is use a polyester based filler which is a very very high temperature filler. It's good to over 400 degrees Fahrenheit and that'll hold down all those fiberglass strands and you won't see them popping later and you won't see it crazing later. Especially important on places that take a lot of heat. The hood, you've got this, <laughs> you've got this L88 motor making huge horsepower underneath here and also creating a huge amount of heat and that's one of the areas that you really got to pay attention to. Well the next step is to put the entire car into polysurfacer. The epoxy protects the metal in the door jams, holds down the strands of fiberglass, but you can't really block it and make it straight with that. That's polysurfacer's job. Well, when you start block sanding, most of the stuff is actually done by hand. You have a variety of different blocks. You have smaller blocks, bigger blocks. We actually make some of our own aluminum blocks. And then it comes down to sandpaper. Polysurfacer is there to actually straighten the car. So what we start with is 120 grit paper. Now with the Corvette, it's a fairly round car, so we're using a flexible board file. And then it's just a matter of blocking. And again, we've put the black guide coat over top of the polysurfacer, and what that's gonna show us is our high and low spots. Earlier with the hood, because the top of the hood is fairly flat, you're gonna use a very flat file as opposed to this one here, which forms to the side of the, the car. It's a fairly round car. Now one of the things we said, we're going to actually make this car a lot straighter than when it left the factory, but what we don't want to do is make all the edges nice and sharp. We want to actually round those off just the way it was from the factory, so it's really the center of the panel that we're concerned about keeping nice and flat. When you're filing a car or blocking out a car, you want to use an X pattern just going back and forth, making sure you're keeping it straight both ways. You see how much material this polysurfacer really builds up to. Now this is 120 grit, and you have to keep repeating this step. You go 180 grit, put a guide coat in between, then you go to 240, guide coat in between. You gotta make sure that you get all of the edges in here real nice, all the wheel lips, all the contours around the bumpers and that. It's a fair bit of work, and this stuff here is pretty tough, so you wanna make sure, like we showed you earlier, you don't put it in areas that you don't wanna be trying to get it out of later. It's pretty tough to work with. The next thing we'll do is we'll put it into a high build primer. That'll be the final step. Then we'll start 320, 400, 600. If it's metallic color, we'll go to 800 wet, and then it's ready for paint.